So this is a look at my garden from the ground. It's about a little under three feet tall over there. Uh, maybe a little more over there. But it's basically like a boat. But it's basically like a boat filled with dirt. The net around the top. Some vegetables didn't make it. This is my first attempt, but I think I've got everything dialed in now. Got some habaneros over there ready to uh, harvest. Carrot that might make some. I don't know. Corn, I don't know. We'll, we'll still have to work on that. But this is a drip irrigation watering system with a couple of spray nozzles on it. Playing around with those a little bit. And this is being fed by water from the gutter system it goes down into these two rain barrels 50 gallons each so 100 gallons of water right there of course assuming mother nature wants to lend a hand and that goes down over to here where we have the watering system. Consists of a bilge pump, DC powered, which you would use for a boat, essentially. We have a timer valve that you would use to, well, do what I'm doing. Set it up so that it opens and closes correctly. This has an extra port I'm not using on it, but uh, have that set to go on every day automatically. And then in here, this is the brains. We'll open that up and take a closer look. But this is all powered by a nice little 12 volt solar panel. So none of this water system or electricity to run the pump, none of it's attached to the grid. So it's completely self sufficient. Take a look at those habaneros turning orange there. Lots of them. So we're going to open up this box, take a closer look at what's in there. Okay, so now we have the box open. And in here, pretty simple setup, we have a timer switch. This can be programmed to automatically turn on and off, which I've done on a daily basis. And it's all powered by DC. Basically, keeps time, knows when to turn on, knows when to turn off. That, coupled with this timer valve, basically makes this whole thing function. So the way this works, water comes into the rain barrels from the catchment system. It's fed into the timer valve. The timer valve is set to go off every day at 6.15 in the morning. That releases, opens up, and that lets the water into the tubing, which primes the system. That's just gravity fed. In fact, the system can run off gravity, uh, but without the pressure uh, to squirt out of those taller sprinklers. And if it gets lower pressure, I wanted to add a little bit of a more oomph with this pump here. So, so 6.15, timer valve goes and opens up. Water fills the system. At 6.16, this timer switch, powered by... This battery and this battery powers this pump. So the timer switch turns on this pump and pushes the water through the irrigation system, thus watering the plants automatically every day at the same time for the same amount of time. It's great. And of course, this little battery, this 12 volt battery, recharges from that little solar panel. So this is a completely self-sufficient watering system. 
for my garden. Run off the grid and with rain water. Thanks for watching.